Hello, you dubious daylight savings time. This is the Rogue Rifler, and this... What are we doing? I don't even know. It's been a while, I've been having a blast modding, and it's been a couple days, so I have absolutely no idea what's going on in life. Um, I think... Oh, that's right, we're taking on the... What was it? The Cyborg Boomers. And we took their, we took their retirement home. Um, and now, we're gonna complete some quests, I think, and... Gotta figure out who I want to go to war with. We should check out what the diplomatic situation is. Oh, they have key bindings now. Excellent. So, that's us. Um, who do I have Kaza's belly with? Oh! Alright, someone else has died too. Okay, so... Groovich. Might just be making war against the Devar this game. Groovich is a good... Good choice. And we have some runner-up assembly. Okay, so where's Groovich? I think he's over here. Yeah, he is. So what that's saying to me is we're going to clear out this. Um, I need to scout what Groovich has, and we're going to expand west towards it. Um, there's really not nothing up here. The only colonizable sector that's of value right is this. And I think it'll cost me under, only 159. I might have to change it. I might have to up the cap on um, influence because it doesn't really seem right that um, a tier 4 unit will end up costing about as much as. Uh, where is it? As annexing sector because it's like 150 with the reductions. Is it just the same? 150. 159. Yeah, so I kind of want, um, maybe I should increase the influence base by a factor of two, so that way, like, buying one of these out is, costs, you know, maybe two or, you know, like, at least the cost of two tier four units. You'd have to have pretty high relationships to even be able to buy it, even if your top was 300, but, like, right now the issue is, if I, do I want a tier four unit, or do I want one of the best cities, one of the best cities you could, you know, one of the best cities in the game, you know. <laughs> hmm. It's not really a, not really a choice there. So we've got some of that. Um, I think this guy was going to join up. And what is even, so they have this. I didn't see any colonized, but there is a silver tier here, actually. Two of them. Holy cow. Maybe that's the play, is to grab this. There's some growth over here. Hmm. And I need to kill these guys, which I was bringing in two stacks because it looked like an angry fish. Uh, so we're going to see if I can negotiate with, not you, the other guy. Stein! Excellent. So, can we do this non-aggression pack thingy and have open borders for 10 turns? Our relationship is in trouble. So I think what that means is I have to uh I can give you my causes belly. Do you have our relationship is in trouble, so I can't salvage our relationship thinking face. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to have to trespass and see what happens there. Uh, we have another one, the Cult of Salad over here. This is a Pteranodon with some tier 2 support units. Probably too much for this stack, to be honest. Um, I think we'll bring these guys over to fight that next turn. And let's see, is there anything... Oh, this guy needs mods. Um, 
Well, so he has a jump attack. He's melee focused. Uh, he does... We could give him anti-armor. Uh, that's not a bad play. Give him anti-armor. Give him stagger resist. He's, he's stagger immune because he's normally mechanical. That's really good. Um, what's the therm Oh, the geo and so we might actually clear that out before we do all do the fight. Um. And we could give him the gauntlet. Perfect. So there's a geothermal instability somewhere around here? Question mark? Oh, it's right there. It's That's what they're on. Okay. It's all A-OK. -okay. And we've got pretty much a melee blob here. Um... That's fine. Actually, was there any... Were there any mods I wanted to give people? Ah, uh, not really. So, let's see. We do research and development. We could go for more doctrine slots. Against mechanical integrate units, all friendly units get plus 10% damage and 8 strength chance to inflict entropic decay. Uh, if we're going to be fighting the Devar, that's actually pretty solid. Um, I could just get an extra doctrine slot for that. Let's do that. Because we're up against double Devar and assembly, mind you. So, I guess that only applies to mechanical units, the assembly cyborg. So quite match but it's pretty nice and I should be able to come over here and just auto all this and win hopefully we can even rush this guy over be more fodder Let's see how do you do uh, up unupgraded hopper hound that died hmm you know what? I don't care it's fine Yep, and then we're gonna fight these guys. Might actually have to fight this. Yeah, we're gonna fight that. So, welcome to Battle Cam, the inconsistent segment which we talk about things that somehow relate to battle <laughs> so what are we up against we're up against these heavy soldiers unmodded now these guys are usually crazy but because there's no paragon like support units these guys aren't too bad and they aren't even upgraded so basically they have a mediocre uh range attack i don't know why this only does 10 damage to be honest i guess it's their, their faction's really focused around being buffed, but this is this is garbage, right? The main thing is that they have a free action missile launcher, which could destroy cover, and that's kind of a pain. Uh, and the same thing goes for these guys back here. They are upgraded, but again, since they can't get buffed, they're not going to stun us. Uh, so I think the real threat are the Emmas. Um, they can try to mind control their biological units, which is a pain. Um, I do have a cleanse, I believe. Maybe I don't. We'll figure it out. So, what's the play? Um, I, so, pretty much with these missile launchers, they can um, utterly obliterate my cover. So I want to be careful about where we stand. Um, because otherwise we might die horribly. We also have this, which is 
pretty much a great anti-range unit. Um, let's come over here. Corrupt Communion, put on defense. And I will there to get my extra essence. This is our melee guy. He can take a good chunk of damage. Um, I think we're going to run over here. Heal ourselves. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I should have used the regen. Oh well, mistakes were already made. Uh, this has five armor, so it can also be a bit more aggressive. They do have AoE, so we're going to wait for that. Um, but yeah, basically I want to position myself so if I get, if they shoot at me with those rockets, I'm not caught out in the open, right? If I just run at them, I guess my, well, they only have these blasters. What are these? Range seven, or range five, seven damage. Okay, so this, this guy can run forward a bit more. And I have two shared pains. Okay, so I think that's the play. Okay, so I want this thing to kind of run forward. Our melee guy can get in. We're gonna run up and kind of get in position to do that. And I can also get a shot on him from here. Um, I think the play is to do Entropic Penance. We resisted everything, but we did a little bit of damage. Um, and I think we're gonna try to get... Do I have a shot? I don't even have an LOS, so I could just move, get behind a shot blocker. I think they use their missiles. These guys have their grenades, so I don't want to group up too much. Um, but I think I can go up here without an issue. So we're going to just run up here. Uh, our melee guy can get in. We'll take an overwatch shot, but I think we're fine. Does this guy have skitter? No. But he has a ton of armor. And our support unit can absorb pain on our leader. So that's going very well. Uh, I could also power up somebody. I have a range of five. This guy's out of cover, so I have to do something about that. Most likely we're just going to pop the heal. Uh, she's melee. None of these are upgraded. Um... I think we get in and then we action, we, we get in and then we're going to give him another action like this. Okay, so she's almost dead. Uh, I might have the final shot here, or I can just come in and use battle vomit because that'll be super effective. guy is having a bet. We can just heal him. I don't think I can get the last hit with him. Um, our siphoner is way the heck out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I could action accelerate somebody. I could action accelerate our golem. They're grouped up nicely, so let's do that. 
and I can do this. My melee unit would have to stand here if I or actually can stand here. One, two, three. Yes, it can. Okay, so we're basically just giving them buffs at this point because our, our damage is so low. Um, I think I want this guy to just run in. Gets this free stagger. This guy gets his little cover bonus. And we're pretty much A-OK, -okay, though. I don't know why this guy has so much damage on him right now. So actually, he might die. Oh, he took... That's why. Mistakes were made. Um, none of them are targetable, I believe, because they're all mindless. So we are going to go with the... Um, I think I just want to do... Well, I could spend two points to give a 15 heal. Let's do that. Okay, we've been staggered at the wazoo, but we're still alive. Holy cow, both these guys are almost dead. Uh, so let's... Let's get some kills. Now I think... Oh, uh, let's see. We lost our link because the heavy died. Um... So really, we're just going to get our link back up over here, and we're going to look at, um, I think debuffing him. But we grazed. Unfortunate. This guy has two decent shots here. Um, what's it? We have a 55% chance of last hitting that. Um, we get a kill there. So I'm going to try to go for this last hit. We missed. It was a 55% hit chance with the Graze Band, so it was an informed miss. Now we can bring in this guy to do his AoE Vomit to get the kill. Oh, we already used Vomit. Okay, we're just going to come in and get the kill. And that leaves this guy. We're going to try to drain their heavy, because I don't believe I can kill him. And he's resisting everything. Um, these guys need to sever their connections and heal up. And back here, um, let's bring this guy forward. We should be fine here. Okay. It's almost bad. Um, might as well do entropic pre- and they're just resisting everything. Do they have- Huh, okay, well, we're just not RNGing with the with our unit. Uh, everything else should be dead, so I'm just gonna kill things and that'll be that'll be the end of it. Okay, so we're actually getting a ton of benefits from killing the Paragon. I think the resources plus the the sites um, together make it, you know, an actual like make it an actually uh, an interesting decision to go after the NPC factions. Like I think it's an actual choice now. 
uh, which is pretty cool. We're going to get a scout because I want to know what all this is. These guys are ready to do things next turn. Uh, and it looks like I'm clearing out this with Crystal Bro. We're still on the adventures of Crystal Bro. Uh, if I auto this, can I win? I can. All right. Excellent. And there's a structure here, too, which gives plus 10 energy production and plus 1 shield. So we might as well just keep rolling. Risky battle. Um, these guys have anything special. They're the poison variety. More poison. So lots of poison. This should be a straightforward fight. We'll see what happens. All right, we are up against the melee blob. You know, which is, um, yeah, a little bit better with the the melee the melee buff mod, but I don't think it'll be an issue. None of these guys have stagger immunity or even stagger resistance, so our big guy is just gonna be able to do lots of horrible things to them. Um, I want to preemptively get share pain on him because I have really no great way of healing him. And we have our Siphoner guy, who can also share pain. So actually we're going to bring this guy forward. And I should probably give him Stagger Resistance, because I think that's the... If he had Stagger Resistance, he wouldn't be caught out in bad situations all the time. Uh, I could bring this forward, but it has low HP. Uh, I don't think it's worth the shield proc to get attacked by hopper hounds. Okay, so they all ran forward, and then this is where Crystal Bro says, here's a big rock. They're like, oh, I love rocks. Uh, we didn't get any stuns, but we got a bunch of staggers, and that's worth it all the same. So, they also got knocked out of their, their stances, so I can do... Um, energy drain to get some AoE attacks for next turn. Uh, this looks like a kill, actually. Perfect. Uh, over here, I want to... This is also a kill. And this should be... We should be able to trade one hit for one hit here. Um, which is fine. And in fact, I could bring this guy forward. I kind of don't want to do it because the hopper hounds can, um, they can leap attack. Uh, so I'd have a 30% hit chance. It'd be pretty terrible. I could come over here to do two range attacks. I'm just worried about these units because they have this air leap. Um, makes them actually surprisingly decent against, you know, air melee units. So we're going to... Oh! Alright. We got locked on. Okay. So, we are surrounded by lots of horrible things. Um, however, I do have my AoE attack now. Which means, you know... We get a kill. And... I can eat the... Uh... Oh, these guys are prime. So they don't actually consume the the attack of opportunity. However, I can maybe kill it somehow, I believe. I should be able to just utterly destroy that. Uh, I could take an overwatch shot, um, but I would... It wouldn't be great. I'm gonna come over here for that stagger, and then I'm gonna try to do the kill shot. Okay, so that worked. Um, this guy's going to get hit by a big fire attack, but that's perfect because he has fire resistant out the ass. So, you know, it literally did nothing. 11 damage. I scoff at your fire attack. And I think... Am 
Might as well heal. Uh, I think this will blow up cover, so we're going to use it. And then that gives us pretty easy shots. So there's lots of bacon. Lots of mutated bacon. It was great. So while the Firestorm Missile Launcher sounds great, we know it's absolute garbage. But at least we cleared it out. These guys are going to heal up and we're going to clear the structure next turn to get uh, this colony an extra Cosmite source. So I have a bunch of Cosmite now, which means I can upgrade some units. Serpion as a melee unit is going to want the Stagger Resist. Um... We could give it this Aztec Protector Incarnation, um, because as a melee unit, it's obviously going to be attacked a lot. So if we do this, it gives it a um, AWE, you know, Drain, which is really good. Um, it can also do a shield, but I don't know if I'd actually use the shield all that often. So we're going to do this. Um, and... I guess we'll go with Iron Breaker. Just so we shred through things a little bit more quickly. We've got two turns on our Super Siphoner upgrades. Over here, uh, I want to swap this out for Stagger Resist. And there should be some, maybe there's some things I can clear out with these, with this stack. So these guys will go out and hopefully try to level up uh, our emergence. And it looks like we are building more, more stacks. Just fine, that's what you're supposed to do. Ah, uh, 15 Cosmite. kind of expensive. Uh, maybe we just do like some budget ones. So I want to put all my Cosmite into my Siphoners pretty soon. And I think maybe the goal is to save up enough influence to buy this sector. And eventually and we're going to annex it with this colony. Right, because that'll, that'll make this colony go from absolutely mediocre right the workers are producing three you know three resources per uh, major resource type which is garbage to like plus 13 so it'll be nuts but we need 160 influence you know which is doable especially if these are more paragon units we can just bully Which they are. These guys are pretty much fully healed. Everyone's fully healed, so we're just gonna run over here and say, hey, don't mind if we do. Uh, let's sell that. So that's our next expansion slot. Um, I could even rush this. Kind of see what's in the north. Imprint, release the chrysalis, gain 28 research. I'll take the research. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> and maybe just more scouts. Oh, we can upgrade this. So, we have a bronze site. We're about to get a production set up. This is a Kirko sector. Um, this is also food. Gives us food bonuses. So I think we want we want growth, production, and we'll see what else is around here. Oh, and we got our doctrine slot. 
So, I could do the Economist, which is probably the smart thing to do. Um, I'm really not seeing a lot of value out of dream sharing. I don't think it's, I think this needs to be substantially better. Um, like I want to just get rid of this and I want to get the Economist and the Techno Class Crusade. Um, you know, like, uh, some of these like preserving the future. Um, I think this is probably better in the late game than the Economist, but like, I can't think of a good situation where, like, dream sharing seemed like a good idea in the early game, but it's just not enough. I think that needs to be like plus 50% or something, because even with it, you know, it still takes like five fights to get your uh, emergent to level up. Which, you know, I mean, if you could level them up every two fights, it'd be kind of nuts, but... You know. Yep, we are gonna fight this. So, let's see what's in here. Risky battle. So, they've got the Fnatic, which is painful. Uh, especially with these heavy soldiers. Um, we do have a flying melee unit that can kind of get in the back line. So I'm thinking we're okay. Let's take this. Let's do this. I've also got plenty of tactical ops. So unless everything gets chain stunned horribly, which is quite possible, <laughs> we should be fine. So they're out in the open. What's the play? Well, you know the drill. We want to get good old Crystal Bro in a position to lob some big rocks. So he can get behind a shot blocker so he can lob really big rocks. And then we're going to share paint on him, so that way he doesn't get destroyed utterly. Um, what's the other play? Well, our main guy kind of forward, our melee unit even more forward, and I'm going to share paint on the melee unit. Uh, their support unit is here. We could kind of bring our golem around. Hmm. He's got a ton of HP and 5 armor, so I'm not too concerned about him eating a little bit of damage. I'm just... I'm trying to think of a good place where he could go where the cover isn't just going to be destroyed in an instant. This looks pretty good. Um, but I don't think he has covered all this. I think it'd have to be, like, here. Which then opens me up to AoE shots, which they have two rockets, so it's not um, not too crazy. I think I want to go up here, be a little bit out of out of the way, just so I don't get rocketed to death. And we have our flying unit, who's just going to get our little shield buff here. Well, let's see what they do. So we got an overcharge unit that can stun. Oh, they can do double stuns because of the rocket changes. That's terrifying. Okay, well... That's unfortunate. Uh, this guy, however, can still throw his rock. Um, so... They lost both of their missiles, but they do have these chain lightning attacks. Ah... Uh, I can't kill this guy, he's way too far back, so I think this is just going to be a focus down the DPS, which is this soldier. Uh, maybe we can get a last hit on him. 17. Okay, hopefully we get the last hit here. Excellent, so we got two essence there, which is kind of big. Um, how mess? How how fucked is this guy? Thirty-three percent hit chance doesn't do a ton of damage. Um, I could get. I could move forward with this unit to get two attacks. He's got 70 HPs behind cover. What could go horribly wrong? 
He's probably going to get stunned, but that's okay. Uh, and I have a tactical op. All their units are mindless, so I can't do any conversions, which is unfortunate. So, what does that mean? Um, this is stunned. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, actually, are you, is this guy mindless? Oh, no, you're not. We're going to harvest them. So, rot proliferation is a 65% chance. Uh, let's try it. Resist it, but he got entropic decay, so that means we can try again next turn. Okay. That's a lot of yikes. Um, who can we rot prol proliferation again? 72%. Let's do it! Heck yeah! Alright. That's what I like to see. So, Crystal Bro needs to run forward, even though we can't get a whole lot accomplished. Um, I can self-heal. Maybe get some shots in here. Uh, I, I feel like I need to heal this guy. How much damage does... Yeah, I, even if one of these units survives. So I have to, I have to blow, on, blow things on heals. Um, I could AoE stagger like this. For my other options. So if I run in here, uh, they have the Arc Retaliation mod. If I run over here, they don't, but I only get one attack. So my best attack is coming from here, right? That's pretty much a kill. Um... So I think we're going to blow, and I already used my operation, so I can't, like, you know, use that and then uh, do something cool. This guy's going to back off to try to get the kill. Okay, that's a huge deal. I'm going to blow the heal on my, my main guy. Stay behind cover. And I want to mess up this guy. I ignore Overwatch, by the way. I forgot about that again. So actually, I think we can go after this melee guy pretty easily. Um, I didn't mean to take damage here. Hopefully my hero doesn't die. Okay. So we lived. Um, this guy's stunned. And we got... Oh, I didn't use the attack like certain. So I, this guy's his full... You know, look at this range. This is nuts. I mean, it's totally balanced. It's great. Just like flank shot from over here, 80% hit chance. And then Crystal Bro is going to come in from behind and not get the kill. But he's in a very bad spot. Just absolutely terrible. Our healer is kind of in a pickle. What else do I have? So our melee guy is stunned. Uh... This guy wants to hide behind a wall and regenerate. So is this guy. Uh, can this thing kill this pretty quick? It could. Um, I could also fly in and attack it, but it doesn't hinder it. So I think the play is to start moving this thing around to get to their back line. Oh, I do have a heal. Um... We're going to use Rite of Revitalization on our main guy. And we're going to absorb pain on our melee guy who's out in the open. Whew. Just told him to sit down. And he did. 
and it was great. So it looks like we can blow up their cover over there. Um, I don't know if I want to do much else. This guy still needs to just hide. Uh, in fact, he's going to run all the way back here. So I don't want to spend more energy to keep him alive. I just want him to live. But you see, now this guy, because he's large, can actually hinder the large unit. Which makes large melee units somewhat more useful. Alright, I'll... One of these days I'll stop tooting my own horn about my mods, but... That's, that's an example of I'm happy with that interaction. We can come over here and do the flank. The surprise flank. Okay, and they're totally busted. So, you're dead. I get a new unit. And this thing is definitely dead as well. Oh, that's new. Uh, target enemy unit loses all positive status effects and loses all of its links. Corpse denial. Target by uh, explodes, dealing damage. In. Oh wow! Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's take that. Uh, maybe we have a debuff. Oh, I can't equip it. But I did get this Aztec gauntlet, or a conduit. Might have had it all along. <laughs> so I want the stag resist. I want the um, I want the accuracy buff. Uh, we're one level away from being able to equip another mod, so I need to save uh, five of my points. So anything that costs two points or less. We could get Essence Harvest, so if we go into defense mode, we gain an Essence. Um, I think I'm actually okay with that if we get the ranged... The ranged mod. So let's do this. And we're going to temporarily swap out um, Accuracy for the Aztec Gauntlet. Uh, Aztec Con conduit wow words they really happen sometimes so we can build up to four essence on this guy which means he has an aoe like i don't know how it scales it, it's it might scale really silly in a really silly way um but we'll, we'll find that out next time and this guy need well, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out at some point. This guy needs to come back. So we've cleared out all this stuff. Uh, we're still not at war with people, so it might actually be your time to go on, go on and uh, explore some things. Over here, this looks like our quest that we want to just auto. This has resurgence, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we might lose a golem if the AI plays poorly. Let's see how they play. We didn't, but we lost our cool unit that we just upgraded, which I'm not okay with. Unless I lose it, then I'm a-okay with losing it. Oh gosh, everything's on fire, I forgot about it. Ah, uh, welcome to the fun zone, where everything is on fire. So, tactical battle analysis, formerly known as Battle Cam and will probably no be known as Battle Cam next time, but we're changing the title because I blanked on it in an instant. So, we're back. And we are looking at a collection of Kiriko and Amazon units. Um, not really a whole lot here. You've seen these sort of upgrades on the... Um, actually, no, these are the psychedelic claws where they get into melee. They have a... They can cause a litany of status effects, which sucks. They have a... What is it? A transcendent, doing transcendent things. Does he have stagger resistance? He does not. And, you know, basically the main thing to worry about is this Tyrandon has an AoE panic. 
And I think that's basically, that's it. That's really what they have. So, we are going to do the good old run in and maybe do a little bit of bait with this guy. He can heal on hit. So if I run up here and they waste a bunch of actions trying to kill him, that's fine. Um, that's 100% A-OK. -okay. The main thing is to get close. And we'll be able to share pain with whoever needs it when we get there. Uh, what else do we want to do? If those are not cover. For whatever reason, you're standing next to a cave wall, but it's not considered to be cover. So we're going to bring this guy around to flank. So that's what the golems are good at. And this guy could also run forward. I think he's just going to hang back over here. I don't believe their range units can sufficiently threaten that. Uh, we are going to focus the Pteranodon with our crystal guy and try to swing our way towards our units, kind of get to force them to fight in a larger front. This guy is just going to get his free essence. Um, our melee guy, what does he want to do? We can share pain. You can't share pain on mindless units or mechanical units, which is unfortunate. Um, I could try to solo tank. We're going to solo tank from here. There's no reason to go forward anymore. And this thing uh, has a jump attack. Pretty much just needed to get ready to do fun things next turn. And we'll bring our other melee unit over here just into cover and our golem he is kind of low so I'm just gonna chill a little bit okay so we got the panic our hero nonetheless okay so lots of horrible things happened our heroes upset with life it's it's not a good it's not a good situation. However, we can now start using a trophic penance. We got a proc. I'm gonna keep the debuff on him, and that's a forty percent. We're just gonna drain the bejesus out of him. The official term. I could just go straight for a unmake. Um, given that this thing's injured and probably wants to back off a bit. That might be an option. The other thing is to use this guy's attack and then to AoE stagger their units as they come in. Um, that's a good option, I think, as well. Um, I could go over here. They just use their AoE attack, so there's no reason not to bunch up. Let's do another energy drain. We missed, but we can still do this. That's a stagger. Bunch of negative everything. Um, I can hopefully move forward and hit both of these guys. And then get into melee. Uh, I should have moved the mark. Um, So we're going to do that. Uh, we still have all our other guys. They're still here. They can still party. Let's see. So we, we just want to get on their sniper. Uh, there's really nothing else to say about that other than we should kill him. Maybe give our guy a little bit of cover. Uh, and I can share pain. I can I can take their pain, but I don't. Can I, I think I might be able to share pain on this guy, but he's too far away. So mistakes are already made. Can we get a shot? We can. I get a second stagger here. Looks like their flying melee unit is their biggest concern. So by staggering him. 
you know, that'll help, that'll help me out a lot. And I could just, I think we're gonna drop a share pain on this guy and run him in to hopefully tie this guy up. So now they don't have a whole lot of resources to come out uh, after my juicy backline. You know, and really, you don't want anyone just chilling in your juicy backline. It's not great. I'm going to bring this guy forward just to bait attacks. Um, if they kill him, he has resurgence, so that's perfectly fine. So let's see what they do. Everything's on fire. Holy shit. Okay, everything almost died. Or maybe that's a, an exaggeration, but this guy almost died. So, is there anybody else who needs healing that badly? And the answer is no. We're just going to... Actually, you know what? Can I rot pro proliferation this guy? Bleak Essence, 65% hit chance. If I can kill everything, um, which looks it looks like I can, I think... Maybe, possibly. Um, and even if I can't, this guy can run way the heck back here to get healed. So we are going to do another rock proliferation and hope to uh, get this guy. Now, if this guy... Energy drain, feeding... Um, I might be able to get some rot on him. I come over and shoot him. Okay, so that should give us rot proliferation. Any resistance, son of a bitch. Okay. Well, they're all dead. They resisted. There are one chance to join, but it's okay. I just want to show them peace and love and pain and suffering, right? Holy cow, we have a shot. From that distance, we're definitely cheating. Uh, this guy probably wants to... Well, so this guy needs to like run over here. And to keep this guy alive, he needs to run over here. They need to meet in the middle, hang out, have a big reunion. Um, so that keeps him from doing anything. This guy can, however, run in, get in the melee, and we can hopefully last hit him and get some juicy healing back, which is great. Uh, this guy can kill him. He can almost kill this guy. Uh, he also has laser attacks, which means this guy is a little bit in danger. Uh, so we're going to run and hide behind a wall, because that's that's the type of gameplay you'd expect from this this channel at this point. <laughs> and um, I don't believe I have anything else that I can do that's cool. It's just, just a range. Okay, so he, he killed the bait guy, which is fine. You could say he was baited masterfully. As well as many other things. We got a hit. Uh, let's see, this guy can run over here. Oh man, he's almost dead. Almost isn't good enough though. We need really dead. There we go. So everyone's on fire, a little toasty, but I don't think we lost anybody. No, we did not. And I'll take bonus food. Alright, we're actually getting pretty uh, close to being able to annex that gold sector, which is very nice. Uh, let's clear this, and we're going to come over here and heal up while we can, or when we can. So we got the conduits, which is excellent. This guy's healing up. Uh, we're going to trespass with two armies to kill these folks because, you know... They wouldn't allow us to come in without doing this. So this should be more than enough to kill these annoying sci-fish. You know what? The emergent's not going to do anything. That's A-OK. -okay. Let's get some money. And yeah, they're not going to like that I just ran into their territory, but it's fine. 
Now, I believe we can buy out these guys. Everybody has a price. Uh, so we're going to come over here and take this. Uh, we're grabbing that sector there. I actually don't have a great way to claim it. Um, there might be a nice colonizable spot nearby. Let's see what's up. If it doesn't work out, we're going to rush it and... Um, I'm going to rush our colonizer next time. If it doesn't work out, I can drop this easily. Like Dropping this to get this sector is 100% uh, what we're going to do. Oh, actually, this guy didn't have to do that anyway. Um, no, it's fine. We'll, we'll take care of it all next turn. Um, I kind of want to go down the research tree for all that juicy cosmite. Um, so we're going to do that. We've got siphoners, we've got cool armor, we've got a decent cosmite income. I'm wondering if it's time to transition to tier 3. Um, what else could I do? I could get some psychic upgrades. I could get the mantra of life. Actually, that's a big deal. We're going to grab that first. It's still kind of broken. Even after the nerfs, it's still kind of broken. <laughs> uh, we've got an engineering guild. Maybe we do get these... Uh... So, we should also look at upgrading our Heritor guys. Now that we have these Aztec conduits, they have this great range AoE attack that they can build up. And they can build up to, I believe, four? Yeah, they can build up to four Essence, uh, which gives them a very powerful range attack. Uh, I'm wondering... I could give them regen. Regen's just really big, so let's grab that. And maybe that's all we throw on this guy, right? Um, stag resistance is nice, but more units is also nice. So let's do some more siphoners. And we can upgrade some of them at the very least. Actually, is this... I'll do the plus one armor. So it looks like the Devar are the best way to just produce mass siphoners because um, I think they're literally the same. They There isn't like a racial variant. So building those and building arcs at the Devar sites seems like a, the best idea. And we could focus on our racial units on our... Kirko cities. But hopefully we're going to grab this and everything works out. Uh, I also have been learning a lot more about modeling. So this kind of horrid effigy and bad texture job is going to be changed hopefully in the next update. Um, I do like the towers. I think it's very clear about where like the, you know, I'm not like clicking around for where to uh, where to colonize and all that stuff, but um, it definitely needs a better texture job. So we should be able to say, get off our lawn, and we get a minor reward. This would be substantially more if you actually beat them, uh, but we're just going to take it. And I want to know if there's a colonizable sector around here. So some of these cave uh, areas are colonizable. It's not by design. It's just a, a bug with the random map generator. So there's a lot. There's a couple of free, freebie sites that are around, which I think is okay. Um, ideally, I'd have a better distribution of like uh, of colonizable sites, but you know, this guy's just going to guard this. 
for the rest of his life. <laughs> I will definitely do that. Looks like we're building something. So, we can build these engulfers, which have a decent amount of healing, anti-armor, which will be important if we're going after the Devar. Um, we definitely want this engineering guild. And it's still seven turns for us to grow. Yowza. That's with the economist. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Alright. So we're going to upgrade our central area. Um, I can even rush it. And that gives us some good stuff. We should probably just focus on building these. Uh, the plus three influence is a huge deal. Like 30% more income is a, that's a big deal. And, you know, getting a little bit more Cosmite is also useful. So we're just going to build that, rush it. Um, these guys are trying to level up. So let's do it. You know, it's an emergent. I don't care anymore. We no longer share the dreams and we no longer, um, yeah. We just don't care at all, do we? <laughs> so, that guy's there. I'm wondering if I can grab this Cosmite somehow. Doesn't look like I can. If I had grabbed this, I could have, but I don't think any of these are... Maybe this is? Oh, it is. So, we could colonize this. Uh, let's grab another colonizer, then. Uh, we grab that. We've got food. Or this is just going to be a balanced site. This might actually be a great end, end game site because we'll have science for the cosmite reduction, energy for the upkeep reduction, and production with plus one, uh, plus one shield and plus one armor. So actually, you might want to just get rid of this. Do a production site. These guys need to heal up. And we are coming over here to finally get on the uh, get in on the anomaly game. Looks like there's even more. Oh. <laughs> okay. So that definitely means there's a gold site around here. <laughs> oh, I love this. So this is something about the uh, the Return to Dust mod that, you know, I, I kind of missed having big, angry, marauding armories show up mid-game in Age of Wonders 3. So here you go, folks. This is a marauding army that, uh, if my, this is probably the gold site, and this thing just came out and said, yo, let's hang out. And it'll actually be a, if this, if this guy comes over here and fights us, it'll be a, it'll be a good fight. Um, we can even see how the AI performs with its, uh, drone. So, that's cool. Uh, we are going to vacate the premise. And hopefully, that didn't piss him off too much. How much causes belly did that give him? Eh, like plus three. It's fine. They're not gonna attack us. We'll just have to compliment them after I spend all my influence on things, on other things. You know, it's, it'll be fine. And we might as well rush this. Uh, this has... Gonna grow in a turn. We've got Military Engineering Guild, Tier 3. Might as well do our quest. We have other cities that can participate. We have Rostopol. Uh, they just finished their happiness building. Let's do that. So that guarantees that that gets done next turn. 
Everybody's producing stuff. Huzzah! We did it, guys. <laughs> Everything has is in queue. The queues are ready. I don't know. We're I'm just I'm pulling at straws at this point. And we got our doctrine look. So things are looking up. We've got two new colonies that are going to be popping out soon. We bought our way here. I definitely want to like double. I don't know if I want to double it, but is that a good price? I just think the long-term benefit outweighs um, the short-term benefit by so much. On the other hand, it's like it's a huge investment. Like it costs a huge amount of time to do that. You know, if we sent in some trash stacks, we probably could have beaten this straight up. Uh, you know, like 20 turns ago. So, I'm thinking about it. Hey, we got that. We definitely want the Shattered Ark. Okay, so, you know, they're they're getting... I'm giving them Causeless Belly, they're giving me Causeless Belly. It's like, uh, it's, the, it's a win-win situation, right? That's how that works. So, no one's grabbed this yet. Which is surprising. Let's grab this. This guy is going to come over here, grab a new colony. Um, do we want to fight this big old vanguard stack? Not really, but if it fights us, we'll fight it. And we are going through more ice. It's either ice, jungle, or I forget what the other other one is. Oh, and there's another Paragon stack we can utterly kill. Oh, so that is a silver stack. There must be a gold stack around here. That's where that army came from. There's a Vanguard gold stack around here. Um, th these will also spawn armies because that's because you know more armies are. It's just more fun for everyone, right? That's how that works. Uh, let's see. So I think I want to... So this is a new colony. Um, this is a new colony. And we're, Alright, we, we're going to have all the colonies. Um, is there anything else I want to do around here? We're grabbing this. I can fight these guys. Um, double support. I can actually split up for once. So we're going to come over here. This should be pretty easy. Um, yeah. So I think the other thing is that I'm getting... I think this gives you... I don't know if this is giving me bonus influence for those uh, pickups when I when I'm fighting the Paragon, but I am getting tons of influence from them. Absolutely, just tons. So we are almost our way to getting an Eater of the Dead, but I need 35 more stuff. So, what can we do? We could keep buying Shattered Arcs. They're pretty nice. Let's do that. So we can send this one out. Hook up here. Uh, did I... I modded them so they got... Minus 50% accuracy penalties. I don't... It's, it's crystals are gone. <laughs> we could also give it the Aztec Conduit. Oh, that's really terrifying. So that gives us an AoE ability, and we can also give it this, which gives it energy when it's attacked, and that, oh, that's that's too much. So we're definitely going to do that. Um, There's an angry army over here, but let's let's upgrade this. And then let's upgrade this one at our capital. 
And I can also... Oh, I can't buy it now. I'll have to buy it later. I'll buy it then, but not now. And what else do you want to just kill? I might as well clear this out. Free XP. Um, I do have the energy. I could just farm rot proliferation off these guys. So let's try and get some more uh, resurgent units. Because they're super strong, right? Like, having a melee unit that literally can just run in and die sounds great. So... Hopefully we can get, we can get like potentially, I can't afford to do it four times. I can afford to do it three times and there are four units. So we are going to corrupt communion. Um, bring our melee guy forward. And our other melee guy forward. They don't have any AoE, so there's no reason not to just bunch up mid like that. Okay. So we got a proc on this guy. Bleak Essence, 88% chance. Um, I could do a Trophic Decay. Uh, 14 damage. This thing has should be fine. Okay, so that should guarantee this. This should be guaranteed. Then we're going to move our targeter uh, to another unit, and I think I'm going to try to kill this one. So that's a 35% hit chance. Uh, maybe I should have done it differently. I also want to save this guy's attack, or this guy's action to maybe, like, power up. Um, okay, so we got that. I think we're going to power up this guy to do this big AoE hit. Um, we don't actually want to kill these guys. So I'm going to dispel that. And we're going to put on the defense mode. Um, I can kill one of these guys. Um... I should probably focus on killing this guy. Or at least staggering him. Like I shouldn't be too worried about... Anything else. So, that guy in the back is one shot. Uh, we could kill him. Double stagger. Okay. Um... And I won't kill him. Okay, so he's dead. Uh, this guy is might as well be dead. Um, so we'll get another rot pro proliferation on him. And that should be a kill. These guys will come over here. That gives us a very decent melee force. I like how they have side claws. That's that's excellent. Um, okay, so those guys are going to be there next turn. We've got some more siphoners. Um, let's 
think there's a reason not to build them. Actually. We're going to upgrade because we're, we're getting low on energy. What's our upkeep situation looking like? Okay, we should actually stop building units. <laughs> And we've got armor out the wazoo. It's tier four. I think that's. Did I already have engineering two on this? No, I don't. So I can get to tier five. I don't know why that is. Oh, because that's a uh, landmark. Duh. Oh my gosh, I'm the best, the brightest. <laughs> so we're actually getting research development too. We want production too as well. And I, there's no reason not to do some upgrading, right? We are kind of pushing our economy to its limits at the moment. I think we're going to get a root cluster to get our production online. This is our fairly northern city. Um, we should be able to do a military engineering guild, production sector, brood cluster, you name it. All the things have been queued and we're out of energy because our economy is tanking, which is why we're building more colonies be great. Okay, we're going to call it there. We've expanded the borders. We saw there's some big angry stompy robots out there somewhere. And things are looking up. Which is pretty neat. Considering the game, the campaign started on some really awful uh, awful mistakes on my part. So, going to call it there. Catch you next time.